Evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 3 of this SS France tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be the main deck, uh, the Folksal deck, and the first phase of the superstructure, basically the first deck of that, so that will sort of blend in with the uh, Folksal deck. Um, so yeah, the first job we want to do is add the main deck. Now you can use any colour you want, but I'm going to go with the normal uh, oak wood planks. Um, I don't think these ships really had wooden planks on them at the time, but uh, you can use any colour you want, but uh, like I say, I'm just going to use... Uh, oak planks, and you're going to go from the tip of the bow, at the top of the very uh, very top of the black, at the tip of the bow, you're going to just start adding the wood deck, like so, and you're going to go all the way to the stern with it. So, um, if you're working alone on this, well then good luck to you. Personally, if you ain't got world edit, then you're going to need a team of people to do this. Um, what I'll do, I'll just fill in the first few bits, and then I'll uh, do my usual thing and jump cut. So, just basically oh, hang on. it's basically a wood deck from the tip of the bow to the tip of the stern and that is how it's going to be and then I'll show you the placement of all the decks below so that's a, f a few sections of the uh, the main deck done so what I'm going to do my usual routine cut and then or cut the video and then uh, come back once it's all done so uh, back in a moment okay back again now I've added all the uh, wood decking to the uh, top of the hull and I'll tell you what even with world edit filling in that deck is a pain in the ass uh, it takes ages but uh, hey -ho, there we go that's, that's all the, the wood deck added to the top there now for the inside decks I'm going to pop to the inside I'm just going to make a small incision somewhere about there and I'm going to go inside where it's surprisingly still light um, yeah I didn't expect this but anyway go to where it's light and for the usual routine of adding decks I usually go from the top uh, or from below the main deck, you're going to leave a three block gap, so it's a one, two, three, and add your deck, so it's a three block gap from, from the deck above, and then you add the deck, three block gap to the next deck, and then three block gap to the next deck, and then you sort of get the idea, so it's three blocks between each deck, um, so if you want to fill them in, then it's up to you, if you want to add interior, then by all means do so, but uh, Personally, I wouldn't, but well, I'm not going to bother because uh, I never do. But so that's the layout of the decks I normally do. If you want to make them four, a four block gap, then you can as well. It's it's no big uh, big issue if you uh, increase the size of the decks uh, below the main deck. But uh, the decks above the main deck will, are all in a set position, and they'll be explained uh, during the videos. But the ones below don't really matter. You can place them wherever you like, and as many as you like as well, as long as you leave enough room for your engines and uh, cargo space and things like that. So that's the decks. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try and find the way out, which is that there. And out we go. And close that up. Right, so that's uh, that all explained. So what we're going to do now is to add the white section to the bow, which is going to be the support for the folks. As you can see over there, you've got a white band around the... Uh, or a white section around the bow. So that's what's going to support the folks all deck. And also be uh, also down along the side as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on the centre and the left hand side and then when I'm done I shall copy it over to the other side just to explain that. So what you want to do for the tip of the bow, you're going to want to add four rows of two white. So one, two, three and then four. So it's four rows of two all the way around the side of the bow, all the way up to the outside edge. So it's the same thing all the way around. So it's just four rows of two. And it's one of those other jobs which is going to take forever to do. We'll do it. I'll try and do it all on camera. So it's four rows of two. So that's the first section. You can see it's designed like that. And just keep going with that all the way to the outside edge.
And finally, we are at the outside edge, right? So there we go, that's the row of four there. And you can see, go from the tip of the bow all the way to the outside edge. Like so. And the outside edge will be something different in a moment. But uh, So what you want to do is, like on the all, all the previous sections, is work out why I've added a fifth row to over here. <laughs> so I get rid of the fifth row there, so we don't need that. Um, and then, once you've corrected any mistakes, you go to the inside, and like before, you just fill in all the gaps. So this is another one of those tedious um, jobs which will take you either forever or just a few minutes but uh, I'll try and do it all on camera I try, uh, you know, I, I would prefer to do this in a jump cut but I'm trying to reduce the amount of jump cuts I do because people get a bit assy sometimes when you, or when I uh, do too much off camera and I do apologise for that we thought we'd replace every block freehand and then you know come back on April 1st I'll try and do a video then um, but yeah, just fill in all the gaps, and when it's done, it should look all okay. Uh, it's going to take a little while, it's not going to take very long, but I'm going to do a jump cut anyway while I finish it, so I'm back in a moment. Okay, back again. Uh, apologies for that jump cut, but I couldn't be bothered to record all on camera because it takes too long. Um, I've done that immediately after saying I'm trying to reduce the amount of um, jump cuts I do, but never mind. Anyway, we've got all the white section filled in. <laughs> filled in. Um, on one side anyway, I'll do the other side later. Uh, so that's how that should look. Now what we're going to do now is build a line of blocks in white all the way along the outside edge of the uh, side of the ship. So uh, what I'll do, we'll get, well, basically, yeah, it is all the way along the outside edge. So basically from the, because we'll go from the uh, front block here all the way to the end. So basically I build freehand a single line of blocks all the way along the edge of the, of the side, well, all the way along the edge of the side of the ship. So just build a line freehand if you can, or if you've got welded it, then use that. But just a line of blocks all the way along the edge. And it shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Do 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 Shit, missed one. Right, there we go. We're at the outside edge. Well, all the outside edge is filled in. So if I'm looking over there, and uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, you got the outside edge. You got the line of blocks done there. And then for the next, I think it's nine sections. Let me just double check it on the uh, on the model over here. I think it's nine sections. You fill it. In, you do the same. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then on to the nine. So yeah, it's it's the next eight sections of the stern. You add a white line to as well. So basically, it's the same thing. Uh, but on the next nine, uh, next eight sections of where the stern curves in. So we'll do this is section one here. So we'll do this one. So we'll add the white line there. Then section two here, section three here, and section four, section five, section six, and section seven, and section eight. And then onto section nine, you just add uh, two blocks like that. So that's how section nine will be designed. And then on the inside, uh, inwards, because the stern will start to curve inwards, you're going to build. Um, 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 um. You're going to build the back wall. So it's three. So it's one, two, three. And then three again. One, two, three. Is it this way or is it the other way? I can't remember. <laughs> um, very professional, I know. Uh, ah, yes, it's the right way. So. The, the, the decks on this ship, the ends of the decks tend to curve, and I couldn't remember which way it curved, so this one curves backwards. So it's 3-3, three, three, and then uh, 6, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 6 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that should be the centre, yeah, so you've got the, the, the 3, 3, 6, 6, and then after that 6, you've got the uh, centre block. So that would be the centre line, so when you do the same on the other side, it should all line up to that centre block there, so that's how that should be. So you've got to the outside line and then eight sections and then the two blocks there. Um, and then the next job you want to do is just increase the height of all these lines 
to four blocks high so I'm going to go back to the front end and I'm going to do all the same from there so just go to the front end again and just straighten off this edge and then just increase the height of all these walls these lines to four blocks high so you've welded it to go from there down to the back end again and I keep saying I keep moaning that I need to f or find something that makes me fly faster because this is a pain in the ass uh, set Oh. Can't remember how to spell it. Q U A R T Z. And there we go, that's that one. And then same on the next one. And the same on the next one. Then the same on the next one. So yeah, basically increasing everything to four blocks high. And also the mouse wheel is starting to wear out as well, which doesn't help when you're trying to scroll through all the blocks. <sighs> oh, the technology is bloody wonderful, isn't it? And then we're up to the row of two there, so that's that one increased in height. So we've got rows of oh, all increased to four height along the side there, so that's that fine. And we just do the same across the back, increase to four high. So there we go, that's all those blocks, uh, walls increased to four high. So that's how they should look like that. Now, for the, uh, you can see on the model here, we've got portholes along the side uh, of those walls we just built. So the, the positioning of the portholes along the side is uh, three blocks between each. So if I could just, well, you can see here's a porthole, three block gap in the porthole. So if I do the same over here, this, is not, this isn't something you need to do now. I mean, you can come back and do this at the end when everything else is built. It's sort of a, a minor detail thing. But if you want to do, if you want to fill it in now, then by all means. But the basic layout is, um, so I've had a porthole on the second block up on the white. So when you're on the inside, you can actually see out. So as you can see here, when you're on the inside, you can see out the window. So it's a porthole, three block gap, and then a porthole, three block gap, porthole, three block gap, porthole, three block gap, such and such and such. So it's the same thing all the way along till you get to the tip of the bow. So it's, yeah, porthole, three block gap, porthole, three block gap. So I'm going to leave that as that is for now, and I'm going to finish that. Um, when I finish the uh, rest of the ship, it's, it's, it's not a detail you need to add now, but it, you know you can do it whenever you want. So in between videos, you can do that. It's just a basic detail, really. Um, so that's that. So what I'm going to do now, and we've got the uh, the side wall all added in now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I do the other side, and then we'll focus on the next step. So um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now, I've done both sides now, so what basically what I've done is just copied and pasted, and uh, when it's done, it should all look something like this. So you've got the uh, bow all added uh, nice and neat. Uh, so now the next job we want to do is to add the forecastle deck. Now the forecastle deck, uh, which is the top deck of the bow, is in two colours. I'm using uh, clay and dark grey wool for the um, textures because it's you know the two colours. Um, so it's sort of half and half. So what we're going to do... I just build the center line of these uh, colored decks for the minute so I can get all the um, proportions right. So, from the tip of the bow, I'm going to use uh, clay, um, and then it's you're going to add a lot uh, from the center block of the tip of the bow on the top of the white. You're going to build um, uh, 25 in clay. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So that's the 25 long clay uh, for the uh, center line. We're going to fill in the rest in a minute. So behind, well, once you get to the end of that 25, uh, you're going to uh, build a, line, uh, a row of two of white like that. So that's your uh, line of white uh, like that. And then you're going to build out to the sides with this. So other side of this white line, you're going to build, um, I'm just see my notes, I can't bloody read them now, um, uh, you're going to build nine rows of two, so it's one, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then um, 2, hang on. Yeah, and then you want um, three rows of three, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then a row of two at the end like that. So that's basically it cut, it's uh, partitioning the grey from the dark grey. So this is basically what it is. Um, it'll also be the breakwater on the bow as well. So that's one side. It's the same on the other side. Nine rows of two, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then three rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then a row of two. Two in there like that. No, two like that, sorry. So there we go, there's your uh, breakwater done on there. So it's sort of similar to the Queen Mary 2, but not as big, if you know what I mean. Um, and usually, some, some people usually comment that they get this sort of, it don't add up right, so it may uh, be one line, so one side shorter than the other, but it's just sort of a case of, Readjusting yeah, the design slightly because it's, it's always nothing's ever perfect when I build things, and nothing's ever perfect when everyone else builds things as well. So it's always uh, a case of readjustment. So whenever you follow my instructions, always leave a few blocks open for um, adjustments because, um, or at least a bit of uh, interpretation because there's always, there's always something that's going to go wrong. Right, well, anyway, that's that all explained. Um, so, what you want to do is this section between the tip of the bow and the breakwater is just fill in with, with the clay blocks. So, I'll just fill in a few because uh, I'm bored. So, just fill in a few areas of clay. Damn it. So, that's the first few bits done. So, I'll come back to that in a minute and fill in the rest. So, what we want to do now is just go on to the next stage which is the dark grey wool so um, we'll just do the centre line again and then I'll come back and fill in the rest so for the centre line once again behind that row of two there and this line of dark grey is um, 52 blocks so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52 and that should be your line of grey so, or dark grey so I'll just measure it to make sure it's 52 go back to the front and yeah it's 52 so that's fine and that is how the uh, deck should be laid out and then behind the uh, the grey line you're going to add another white block there now this this mar uh, will mark the center line and the front wall of the superstructure you can see the superstructure uh, slopes up quite a bit there so that's where the uh, superstructure will begin so either side of this center block it's going to be thir well, it's going to be 13 wide, so that's six either side. So I work on the le uh, left side. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then uh, uh, and uh, just reading my notes. I think I've got this slightly wrong. But anyway, just let me just check something a minute. I've got to go check over the main one. I've written it down as being as four, but I think it's actually five. So I just go to. Here's so it's five four four three three. So yeah, it's fine. I just read it down. Oh, I didn't write it down wrong. There's just a number four there, and I can't remember what that was for. But it uh, turns out it's nothing. Right. So we've got the row of six, so that's uh, that sorted. And then after that row of six, you want to build uh, a row of five. So it's one two three four five, and then two rows of four. One two three four. One two three four. And then two rows of three. One two three. One two two three. And then a single block like that. So that is the front wall of your superstructure. Now do the same on the other side, hopefully without misinterpreting it. So it's a row of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a row of five, one, two, three, four, five, and then two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then a single block. Dang there. Right, so there we go, that's uh the forecastle deck pretty much added. So that's the the grey bit you can fill in with clay, or the, the front part you fill in with clay. The middle part you fill in with dark wool, uh, dark grey wool rather. And then behind the front wall of the superstructure, you fill in with wood or whatever colour you wish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a jump cut while I fill this in. So I reinterpret it again. You probably got this already. Front section fill in with grey uh, clay or grey wool, whichever. Middle section dark grey wool. Third section. Um, wood so I'm gonna do a jump cut while I fill in all that and I shall be back in a moment so uh, 
Yeah, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now I've got all the uh, deck space all filled in now. So now we've got all the uh, clay on the bow now. So the grey clay there. And then the middle is all dark grey. And the end is all wood. So that's how it will, should all look. There will be details added on later on to cover up most of it. But uh, that's how it should be. So from the uh, back of the uh, superstructure details, you've got all the wood decking. It goes all the way to the end of the uh, walls that we built earlier on. So we just fly all the way down to there. And it should all look something like that. So I've got a few portholes in, but you can finish them off as and when. So that is up to the end of the deck there. So that is pretty much it for this part. So that's that section of the superstructure to do. Part f this is part three now, isn't it? So for part four, will be the next next deck of the superstructure. Um, fairly simple, straightforward design, I think. Um, a few inner walls as well, but uh, we'll see when we get there. Um, so it's not a hugely over detailed ship, but uh, I'll tell you what, when you try to cut and paste that full design, it does not work. <laughs> I tried to paste it in the water, it didn't work at all, but uh, never mind. Anyway, so that'll be uh, for part four. So yeah, it'll be uh, the first proper deck of the superstructure, and then uh, we'll go from there. So um, this is Rich signing off, logging off, and disappearing, and I shall return in part four, I think. So um, bye for now.